Hello everyone, welcome to another video on my channel. My name is Marshall3498 and today's moto vlog is going to be what my channel normally is about and that's motorcycle related uh, topics. And this topic is uh, a several video thing that I had in my head that I'm uh, making up some new rider do's and don'ts. Um, this video of new rider mistakes is going to be about uh, new riders not wearing gear at all and uh, you know there, there are several, um, what in the world? Good grief. Sorry. Um, there are several things that, uh, that wearing gear can help you. And I'd like to share my thoughts and opinions on it. One, always wearing riding gear, head to toe, uh, you know, boots, gloves, jacket, riding pants, riding jeans, whatever, uh, you've got the, the, there's a couple things that, you know, in my, uh, riding experience that I can tell you that it will do. Number one is um, it'll help you can getting sunburned. Um, you know, on a sunny day like today, you know, yeah, it's right. It's 82 degrees right now in my area, but I'm wearing gear head to toe because uh, I'm one of those at gat guys, all the gear all the time, and that's you know my belief. So um, the main thing is is you know like i said it'll keep you from getting sunburned two what it'll also do and i've had this happen to me personally what wearing gear will do uh i, I was on my previous bike my yamaha fc6 and i've been riding for about a couple years and i was just out uh like this on the back roads enjoying the nice weather and i was wearing my leather coat which i still have which is a mid-level you know four or five hundred dollar uh leather coat not a race spec coat but a good safe leather perf coat and I was riding on a road like this, and I don't know what kind of bug it was, but it was definitely a very large one. Maybe a June bug or a beetle or something like that. And it literally hit me uh, maybe a couple inches above my armpit, maybe an inch below the top of my shoulder. And it absolutely just like shocked me on how bad it hurt even with wearing gear on. Cause I was doing, you know, reasonable amount of speed, 50, 60 miles an hour, something like that. And when it hit me, uh, it took my breath away for a second. I kind of just had to just take it. You know, uh, there's no really spot to pull off like this. I had to just kind of deal with it and uh, not uh, put myself in an unsafe situation. Well, later on, when I got done riding for the day, when I went back home and took my gear off and stuff, I was like, okay, this was hour, two hours later, and it still hurt pretty bad. And I'm like, what did I do? So I looked and I literally had a bruise like the size of a quarter that didn't go away for three or four days just from that one bug. Now, had I not been wearing a uh, riding coat, I mean, yeah, it, would, it didn't hit me hard enough to break any bones or tear any ligaments or break the skin, but it definitely would have hurt a whole lot worse had I not been wearing the riding coat. Uh, another thing I think uh, wearing riding coats will do regardless if it's waterproof or waterproof uh well especially if it's not waterproof one if you get stuck uh stuck out in a brief shower or somewhat heavy downpour yes you'll be wet and it uh be kind of miserable but it won't hurt uh those of you who are new riders who haven't experienced this like i have uh riding in the rain uh even if it's fairly small drops, it's like little BBs hitting your bare skin. Only reason I know this is because of my previous bike that didn't have near the wind protection this bike does, is it literally started hitting me right in the front of my neck, uh, riding down the road. And uh, you, trust me, uh, that is not pleasant and it does hurt. Uh, the only thing I could really do is try to duck my head a little bit, kind of duck down below the little short windshield that bike I was riding had and just make the best of it. But had I not been wearing gear, if it had been like hit me right in the chest on bare skin or even like with a t-shirt on, I'm sure it would have hurt much worse than what it did. Um, not only that, guys, even if you have a small fall in a parking lot, low speed stuff, uh, or you know, doing greater speeds, wearing riding gear, I think, and I'm sure it's true, yes, it won't keep you from getting seriously hurt if you happen to hit a car, but if you just bike slides up underneath you, uh, you know, beat up a little bit. Yeah, you'll be bruised here and there where the armor's not. But one thing it won't do if it's a good quality jacket is, is it shouldn't 
anyway, depending on how fast you're going and how far you slide, it shouldn't eat through the jacket and start uh, tearing your skin apart. And I've never had it happen uh, because I wear all my gear all the time, but quite sure, and I've personally worked around somebody who had a pretty good fall on the interstate on a motorcycle. And he was out of work. Luckily, he got lucky he didn't break any bones, tearing ligaments, anything like that. But he was out of work like six months. And he had multiple skin grafts on one side of his body, especially his arm and his upper leg. And, you know, I'm sure that's not pleasant to go through skin graft, nor is it cheap, even probably with health insurance. And I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like my skin attached to my body, so I'll do my best to keep it. Uh, but like I said, just... Guys, don't, I, I know, you know, summer day, you know, warm degrees, it, it'll feel good to you, or at least you think it will. You get out here on the bike and have fun and ride and all that stuff, and you think you'll show how tough you are, you know, I can ride with that gear. Yeah, you might be able to until something bad happens, and then it's not going to be so pretty. So just please, guys, wear all your gear all the time, regardless of, you know, how hot it is. And plus, wearing riding gear, even not you know really winter riding gear if you say commute to work like I do a lot um, even if it's a summer ride, riding jacket and you happen to be commuting to work on it if it's a little colder in the morning it'll keep you warm too so win-win in my opinion so like I said guys just uh, if you value your body and your skin wear your gear all the time and, and you know stay safe out there please so that, on that, guys, that's about all I got for today's motovlog. If you have any questions or comments about what kind of gear I wear, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions to the best of my ability. And on that, guys, ride safe, have fun, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. See you.